We live now in, as I mentioned, in Cornwall, in, in south, way the very far southwest of the British Isles. We lived in Canada for quite a long time, and then we moved 15 years ago to St Ives in Cornwall, which um, we like very much. And I'll, I'll tell you very briefly about that. Now it's a kind of tourist thing, because it's very pretty, and like pretty places, you know, without, without much other industry going on, it attracts a lot of tourists. But at one time, the southwest, West Penwith, where we live, which is right down at the point, was a very heavily industrialised area because of tin mining. The huge deposits of tin under all that granite down where we live. And from pre-Roman times, from prehistory, there were all these um, ships coming up from the Mediterranean to take the tin away, and then the Romans found tin there. But the real, the real explosion was the age of steam. When the age of steam came along, they could then pump out these shafts. Before, there was just like two guys with a shovel who could go down and get tin out. But then, they could go much deeper and they could go out under the sea. And so all over the, all over the hills and the, and the cliffs where we live are these engine houses and they're granite and they're beautiful, they're like castles. And these were where the big steam engines were and the big flywheel to pump out the mines. <coughs> And, and this went on for about 50, 60 years, and then the price of tin collapsed, and they just shut them all down. And so now you've got these big, empty structures everywhere. So the, the, the miners, because that was the main thing that went on there, all left and went anywhere in the world where mining went, like Australia. Lots and lots of... I don't know, anybody here got a Cornish ancestry? I don't know, because we, everywhere I've been so far, somebody says, yeah, I, my folks came from Cornwall. So they go South Australia, Tasmania, all over New Zealand. We were up in the Bay of Islands about three weeks ago, and there's a manganese mine there, now closed, which was all Cornish miners came over. Um, you go to uh, the Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. Traverse City was a copper, still is a copper town, all Cornish miners. And we have a couple of pubs down in Penzance, near where we live. One's called the Peruvian Arms, and one's called the Mexico Inn. And, yeah, and that's like thin miners who made their money and came home, you know, and opened a pub. And uh, so there's a song written by Michael Connor, who lives close to us, um, about miners in South Australia who, um, like, like immigrants everywhere, you know, expatriates, we're expatriates, you know. Um, you like where you are, but you have nostalgia for where you've been. And that's what this song is about. It's called Shining Down on Senin. <clears throat> Senin is the last little village on the, on the north coast before you get to Land's End. And uh, that's the song. <clears throat> in Wallaroo, it's mighty fine in Mount Orcadina. And they remind me of the time when first I was a streamer. But when at night my eyelids close, my mind to far off places go. The Southern Cross is soft like gold, but shining down on Senin. Now underground it's all the same as Crofty or Sulligan. The dust, the dark, the flickering flame, it might as be a Logan. The same old songs are heard again. The tunes, the tales, the family name. The nightingale has sweet refrain, but shining down on Senin. Now Christmas is the rarest time we saw a pint of Tony. And the lurchin will lead the mine when we sing Trelawney. We sung it all the world around, where tin and copper may be found. The stars above will hear the sound when shining down on Senin. At home, the mining gates have shut, or so says last year's letter. And Red Roof Town is in poor shape, and cold is little better. But in my mind I hear them still, forever climbing Camborne Hill. And high above the sun will still be shining down on the seven. Now South Australia's been real good to Cousin Jack and Jenny. 
And many's the Cornish boy will say he's made a pretty penny. But Jackie this and Jackie that, this cousin Jack will eat his hat to see the stars that even yet are shining down on Senate.